Ja, het is hier zo. Het is mooi in de baanmorgen. Dan zie je van Australia. Nog wel. Gaat in Australia. En daar loopt hij weer breeze. Zet je naar. Zo wordt het zetlus van ons. Om hier te zijn. Stoppen we weer. Volgen we die hier gaan. Dan zijn we. Aan wij de korte vorm. Dan zijn we. Heel die miljoen. Of twee of drie. En de dansen op een. Die hier gaan. Het is bigger en blijven al doen. Ja, 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 Well, all re reality cop shows and stuff. I mean, it makes no sense at all. You see dead bodies and especially that program called 24 Hours that's about serial killers and murderers. You see dead bodies and and CSI and people cutting out dead bodies, putting out parts, etc. I mean, if that's going to desensitise you, isn't it? I mean, to see the games that. Humans are bloody smarter than that. They can tell the difference between a graphical animation on the screen and a little person outside. And I think we're giving the gamers credit for their for being humans and more intelligent than realising that. It's my opinion and that's what I think. I mean while the video games in their current form, the first person shooters, what well, have they been around 12 years? So how do you, how do you explain all the war since then? I mean, the First World War, Second World War, the Korean War, Vietnam War, and then you had the Gulf War. So then the only video games around then were Queen King's Quest, and that didn't involve violence or anything. I don't know why they got in there. What really caused was war. Really, because of the wars with bad ideology. I mean, look, 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 look at this last century, 20th century, and all the wars. I mean, it was all communism and fascism. So all the new ways of living in society. Look, 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 look at the bloody results. Millions, of, millions of people dead. And uh, they didn't have bloody computer games around then. But to be honest with you folks, there can be problems with. Uh, with video games, I mean, you can get addicted to them. I was like any drug, smoking, drinking, you can have too much of a good thing. And uh, if you're playing over five, six hours a day on your computer games, well, I think you've got a bit of a problem. I mean, all you've got to do is look bloody South Korea. They've got two of these stations devoted to people playing and competing in video games. And they're superstars, the guys that compete in competitions. And they practice 14 hours a day. I mean, if that is an obsessive compulsive addiction, I don't know what it is. I mean, that's, that's dreadful. That's part of their culture. Anyways, I think some people can cause violence when they, when they play video games. Only a small minority. Yeah. Uh, 0.001% because they've predisposed genetically or otherwise to that in the first place. And actually, I reckon it can stop some of those people because they get down the loop from first person shooting, shooting someone and seeing blood on the screen. Anyway. Anyway, that's just Willie the Bum Wilkins. Australian Ozzy Little Battler. Giving his opinion yet again. And oh, why not, folks? Look at that, look at that, look at that. Bloody maggots, you know, you let them do the food out of the bloody maggots. Fortunately, I like fucking maggots. Yeah, baby, taught me how to eat maggots. Bloody beautiful. Cheers to you all. Great song.